So hey, welcome to my 4th of July holiday around the pool. And when I think of 4th of July, I think of food, fireworks, and water. Well, I've got the water because I'm spending my day poolside. Fireworks are later tonight, but this video is all about the food, the food and the drinks, and do we have a treat for you. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I make my favorite poolside cocktail. It is a blood orange margarita, and ooh, if you have never had this, trust me, trust me, you are gonna wanna make it for yourself, and it only has four simple ingredients. Randy is putting baby back ribs on the rotisserie. And yes, I said rotisserie. He's not grilling them, he's not smoking them. He is putting them on his new rotisserie. He's obsessed with the rotisserie attachment to his Weber grill, and he has been dying to rotisserie baby back ribs. So of course, that's what we're doing. And to go along with the baby back ribs, I'm gonna make potatoes and onions, we cook them on the grill, and we have corn on the cob with a little something special on top. So spend the day with us poolside on the 4th of July, and we're gonna show you exactly how to make and drink everything that we're enjoying by the pool. This 4th of July weekend is so hot and humid. It is unbearable if you don't have water. And in Western Kentucky, most everybody we know goes to Kentucky Lake. Uh, we're not up there today. Randy and I are spending a quiet 4th of July home by ourselves in the pool, having our favorite food and cocktails. And you'll see when we start cooking later today that we're making a whole lot of food and you're gonna think, there is no way the two of you are gonna eat all of that food, but we're actually cooking dinner for my parents. And so they're gonna come over later and pick up their portion. As you all know, my mom is not well. She wouldn't enjoy coming over here and being out in the heat. So we're gonna cook. My dad will come over and pick it up and they'll be able to enjoy it at their house. So when you see us making two racks of ribs and a whole slew of potatoes and corn, it's not all for us, promise. So I have been reading this book called Verity by Colleen Hoover. Oh my gosh. This is a book that you must read. If you love to read, and even if you don't love to read, you need to get this book. It is a crazy psychological thriller, shocking, page turning, jaw dropping. I keep telling Randy he's floating in the pool and I keep saying, I can't believe what's happening in this book. This book is insane. Definitely, Verity, Colleen Hoover, summer must read, you gotta get it. But now it's time to go in and make a cocktail. It's two o'clock, so it's cocktail time, right? Blood orange margaritas, here we come. So for blood orange margarita, you only need four ingredients. Blood orange liqueur, margarita mix. If you don't have margarita mix, you can use a fresh lime, but you will need to add simple syrup or agave nectar for sweetness. This is the secret weapon. It is Finest Call Premium Juice Blood Orange Sour Mix. That's a must have. You can't make it without it. And you need a great tequila. Or. Oh, or yeah. You could do Respato. You could do Blanco. Either one that suits you. Just a great tequila. My bartender here tells me uh, what tequila to use. So this is your lineup. Okay, testing the tequila first. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Man, this stuff is so smooth. So the recipe is in the description box below this, this video, but it's two ounces of tequila, two ounces of blood orange liqueur, two ounces of blood orange juice, and one ounce of margarita mix. Ice and stir. Thank you, baby. A blood orange margarita will knock your socks off. I had never had one of these until just recently. It was so great. I had to go back to this restaurant, ask the bartender how to make it. She gave me all the ingredients and I've been hooked since. It is perfect for 4th of July. Woo, tart, sweet, tequila, yummy, perfect. 
So Randy's got the baby back ribs all ready to go. He put the rub on there last night and all he used was lemon pepper, a rib rub that is made here locally where we live. He rubbed them really good. He's got them all skewered up, wrapped with twine. They're on the rotisserie and to the grill they go. So Randy's getting ready to fire up the rotisserie for the ribs. He's got the coals lit and he's gonna put on his rotisserie ring from Only Fire. Oh, and the gloves. Gotta have the gloves cause you gotta touch the coals. Who don't burn yourself. You were getting so close to that. It fits right on our Weber kettle grill perfectly. And then it has a rotisserie system that's gonna fit right in there when he skewers the ribs. So he's using sweet and fruity charcoal. Woo-wee. And? And? Traeger wood-fired cherry. cherry hardwood. She is hot. She is hot. Right she now, is, she is about 400 degrees in there, but we're going to cool her down. She is ready for some ribs. So this rotisserie ring comes with all of this. The mechanical part, the big rotisserie spigot, the, the fork prongs on the end, and it just perfectly fits a Weber kettle grill. You just pop it in just like that. My cherry. Adding cherry to the charcoal. With the smoke. Fire it up, babe. Turn that girl. Woo! And he's got a, a big onion right in the middle of two slabs of baby back ribs. All right. Here we go. Are you relaxing out here, boo? It's perfect. Uh-huh, Pox is joining his 4th of July, right, booze? How long they been on there? A little over an hour. Whoa, look at that. Just a little over an hour. They've been on there. I can smell them. Yeah, that's what I said, well, go Smell they smell so good. Just gonna put a little barbecue sauce on them just to keep them wet. Oh, fire them back up. Y'all, this rotisserie ring, it's like a universal ring that fits your Weber kettle grill is on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box below the video. But Randy has used the heck out of this thing. Rotisserie and chickens and now baby back ribs. The ribs have been on the rotisserie for a couple hours. The sun is no longer on the pool. I've come in, I put on some clothes and now it's time to make our side dishes. So I'm gonna make potatoes with onions and corn and everything is gonna go on the grill. So this is how I do it. For the potatoes, I just have an aluminum pan, potatoes, onion, Lowry seasoning salt. I'm gonna melt some butter and it is that simple. Kinda like that. And Randy was over here, he got ahead of me with the corn on the cob. Wrap each piece of corn in aluminum foil and you wanna lay a dab of butter on there, 
a squeeze of garlic, a squeeze of basil. You can use fresh. This is all we had. And salt and pepper. And wrap it up tight. Just look at them. They're looking good. Look at that. And we got the corn underneath. It's going to catch the drippings. Oh, this is my little taste test. That's your taste test. Yes, please. Let's put a little. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Look at that, y'all. Oh, my goodness. And that's two slabs. Two slabs of baby back ribs in there. Just I to think keep they them. are done. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep them from... All right, ribs are done, corn's on. Where's the taters? Y'all see Randy in his Dive Bar T-Shirt Club T-Shirt. And these are all of his Dive Bar T-Shirt Club stickers on his grill. Do you smell it, Pollux? Okay, potatoes. Potatoes are going on the gas grill. Top shelf for 45 minutes to an hour. Woo! Mm-hmm. Fine job, babe. Fine job. Right, Pollux? I mean, look at these. But I mean, what do you think about it? You smell ribs? I know. Pollux has got his nose in the air. He smells it. Oh, buddy, that's hot. Let's not go over there. Hey, hey. Everybody sniffing for the smells. Tick. Tick boom. Ooh. Oh my. See how it's drawn up? Yeah. That means it's going to fall right off of there. The two racks kind of melded together. Yeah. Okay. The drippings on the corn. Corn in here cooking, got the potatoes over there. Let's let that sit there and cook. All right, it's time to eat. I just gave my dad his portion, but this is our potatoes. And see, you don't even see the onions, they just disintegrate into the potatoes. So, so good. Corn on the cob with basil, butter, pepper, and garlic. And then the ribs basically fell off of the rotisserie but we are gonna tear into that. So it's time for us to enjoy this food. Happy 4th of July. Thanks for spending with us. And now you, <coughs> and now you see how we spend our day. See ya. <coughs> too many cocktails. It's just too many cocktails. <laughs>